Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to try my best to answer the question, will upsizing your paddle help you with flat water paddle ups and therefore help you with your downwinding journey to make things easier? For this comparison, we're going to look at the Ono Ava. The Ono Ava has been specifically designed for downwinding. It's significantly larger and has a scooped face, whatever that means, similar to an outrigger paddle. It's angled at 15 degrees, which is a greater angle of attack than most other paddles, and they retail in Australia for about $950. For this comparison, I'm comparing it to the Lima Starboard, which is a very common paddle. It's an 82 size, which is a standard size as well. This is a fairly common design sup paddle and well within what I would call a normal paddle. Okay. For this comparison, I rode my PNG 1300 and my 78 Carbon Co board. I gave myself five attempts. Then we're gonna compare the best paddle up out of those five for comparison's sake. Is true. I'm going to look at the speed, the acceleration, and the amount of strokes that it took to get up. I'm also just going to share my thoughts at the end of this video about my experience. Yeah, man, but like, you're not very good at paddling, so why should we listen to you? A key piece of context for this video is that I'm a beginner paddler. I'm very inexperienced and I don't really know what I'm doing. So anything I say in this video might be complete total nonsense. That's why we're going to have Coach Casey make an appearance. Will the gear make the difference or should you just get better at technique? So let's dive in. The Ono Ava is the paddle I've been using frequently, so it should be the most comfortable. From the outset, you can see that the technique is particularly poor in this clip. Lots of splash, not reaching farther forward enough in my stroke. This demonstrates quite nicely how the Ono Ava actually rewards poor paddle technique. The blade angle has a lot to do with this and I'll discuss this shortly. I was up in around 10 strokes and I'll put a marker as to what I'm counting as up so that we can compare the two. The Lima 82, which is fairly unfamiliar to me, I had a much higher paddle cadence in order to get up to speed. But interestingly, my technique was actually improved, reaching further forward and less unnecessary splash happening. It took around 13 strokes for the same paddle up height. When we compare the two, the acceleration is notable. Despite being further left of frame on the Ono Ava, I catch up to where the Lima was fairly quickly. The large blade size seems to translate to more acceleration as expected. If I had used better technique, then I do think the Ono Ava would have outperformed the Lima in this instance. I don't know for sure if it's the blade size or angle that has made a difference in my paddle ups. Demonstrated here is the power zone of a normal 10 degree paddle, reaching forward, then stopping just before your front foot. Note that as the Lima paddle comes closer to the feet, the blade angle becomes negative, meaning diminishing returns in your stroke. Most beginners like me will paddle well past their feet, which is extremely inefficient. Note here, as I paddle in the pool, the majority of my stroke is in front of me, recovering well before my feet for the next stroke. Due to the 15 degree blade angle of the Ono Ava, as you reach forward, the blade is less efficient in the first part of your stroke. However, as you come closer to your feet, the blade angle will remain positive despite almost going past your feet. In the real world environment, there can be a benefit to this for beginners because we tend to panic paddle and we lose our technique as soon as we're out in the bumps or even doing flat water paddle up. I think the best answer to will blade size make the difference is yes, but what's the best investment you can make? I would say the best investment you can actually make is in paddle coaching. Your technique is the most important factor in determining whether or not you will get up on foil quickly. And then obviously when you're in the bumps, it's about timing and many other things. Let's see what the man himself, Mr. James Casey, has to say about blade design and how it translates to paddle pop-up technique success. I think the biggest variable is the, the thing that's gonna help you most isn't the blade angle, it's the size of the blade. I'm gonna ignore your question about what angle is perfect and I say just anything's gonna work because you can get used to that. Your power phase is the same whether it's closer or further away from your body, but the size of the blade is gonna make more difference. The blade angle is just part of the story of the Ono Ava, and I think it may be masked by the size. The bigger blade size means you don't have to take as many strokes for the amount of speed you're getting. You can do a lower cadence, which then allows you to basically have better technique because as soon as we speed something up that we're not very good at, we get really bad at it. <laughs> as I said, I haven't tested it, but my theory would be that 
with a 10 degree paddle, I reach forward and I really think about sort of reaching out. So my top hand is close to my head and my bottom hand is reached out further. If I reach too far with the Ono Ava, the angle of entry of the blade could be inefficient at 15 degrees from a standing up. I don't know that because I haven't tried it, but that's the risk. The benefit of it is I don't have to reach as far and I can paddle behind me and still be getting a good amount of thrust forwards because there's, I talk about three different stages of the paddle technique. There's when your paddle goes in, you want it to be a positive angle because that creates, it allows you to go forward and up. And then as you continue through, you've got neutral. When your blade is neutral, it propels you forward. And when your paddle is towards the end of your stroke, it pushes you forward and down. And the beauty of the Ava is I don't have to reach far and I've got that positive angle closer to my body, the neutral angle behind my body, and the negative angle is less as I go further behind my body than it would be for a 10 degree paddle. I floated a theory with James that the Ono Ava actually makes you use much smaller muscle groups in your stroke because it's closer to your body. So you don't actually use your hips as much as you would with say a 10 degree paddle. More about like your, with the lemur, your paddle stroke has to be further out in front of you or with the owner Ava, your stroke has to be, or the catch Close. has to be closer, yep. which is why for a beginner, if you're just gonna go all in on a paddle and your technique sucks, you'll probably get more return from the owner Ava because it's a bigger blade and because you're not gonna have a good reach with a positive angle at the start anyway. You're gonna be paddling mostly behind you. So that's where the owner Ava helps you. To wrap up this video, I wanna be open and frank that this is a massive oversimplification of two different pieces of equipment. There are other things that you should consider like shaft stiffness, the blade type, blade height, all those sort of things. But for the sake of this, I don't wanna get stuck in the weeds. I'll share with you my final thoughts on the experience that I had rather than the video comparison. I would say that the Ono Ava is a good choice for downwind paddlers, especially heavier downwind paddlers like me. But if you have a paddle already, I would say don't go and buy a new one. That's what I did and I don't think I've been rewarded. It cost me $1,000 and I didn't get a $1,000 return. What would be a better choice is to join something like Coach Casey or if you can go see someone who does flat water paddle up clinics like Jeremy Riggs, go to those events, spend the money on those things because there's a higher rate of return. If you're in the shop and you're looking to buy your first paddle, then sure, go for it. If downwinding is the only thing you're gonna do, invest in those paddles. Uh, the Ono Ava is a really well-built paddle and it's excellent for its purpose. Now, this doesn't come as any surprise to most people, but nonetheless, I still had to learn the lesson the hard way as I tend to do with most things. So I'm trying to get the lesson across to you as the viewer and hopefully you won't make the same mistake and waste money like I did. Spend the $50 a month to join the Coach Casey Club or spend you know $100 or whatever it is for a, a paddle up clinic in person. It will translate to more success than a new paddle will. Now, there are other things to consider, foil and board. That I have a different opinion about. I think foil size and board size and shape make a huge difference and there's more coming on that in future videos but for now let's just stick with the paddles to answer the premise of this video does a bigger paddle help beginners the answer is yes and no it does help but in the long run you'll be better off using the paddle you have and just getting better at your technique in the short term you will see some gains but your paddle technique is the most important thing you can invest in thanks for watching guys i hope this video was interesting and entertaining that's all i aim to do i know nothing about foiling i just aim to please is that a good outro my reflection has been that the, you said it the other day you said people would buy like they spend 500 bucks on a foil but they won't spend 50 bucks on some training and that's mm. the sentiment i want this video to sort of come away with like mm. Spend $50 yeah. a month, even if it's only for three months, who cares? Yeah. Like, and make an investment. You can, you, can, you can get more gain out of a clinic or online coaching or mm. even a like a Zoom call with, with me or Jeremy Riggs or someone else who's coaching and you're going to get way more um, value out of the gear you already have. Mm. There isn't a magic bullet. There's no silver bullet to make you all of a sudden flat water paddle up or link waves or do wing tips out turns it's you love wing tip out turns <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> i'm gonna make a video called the case for wingtip breaches yeah <laughs> and a day against them
<laughs> yeah. Because you've only got you've only got three seconds yeah. of downhill. So if you're having to take if you can take six strokes on the Lima, but only three on the Ono Ava, mm. that's where the or disadvantage is. Yeah. So it's if I can paddle faster with the smaller blade, it will at the very least even out the slower strokes of the bigger blade 